So one way to think of this device is like a UPS or uninterruptible power supply with an external battery. An inverter charger or power verter, as Triplite seems to be calling these nowadays, has a built-in battery charger and a transfer switch along with the inverter. And the inverter converts DC power here into AC power. The magic is in the battery charger feature that requires almost no additional circuitry. Here's an interesting patent with a description of how the basic inverter charger works. And I'll put a link to this in the video description. So the idea here in figure two, here's your line voltage. You have a transformer there. The primary runs at the line voltage. Here's your inverter circuit, which is your MOSFET H bridge. It runs at battery voltage. Here's your batteries. So in inverter mode, the MOSFETs drive the secondary of the transformer from the battery, producing AC output on the primary. And in charger mode, line voltage at the primary feeds battery voltage out the secondary, and then the MOSFETs convert that to DC to charge the batteries. But wait, you're running the inverter off a 12 volt battery and trying to output 120 volts, at least for this unit. So by the time you account for battery voltage drop, uh, wiring and switching losses in the MOSFETs, you'll probably have 10 to 12 volts here to drive the secondary of the transformer. So the winding ratios need to account for that lower voltage. So maybe there's something like 10 to 1 or 12 to 1. So if you had 10 volts here, you would have 120 volts here. But when you're trying to charge those same batteries, you've got your 120 volts here, you would have 12 volts here. And you need something like 14 volts or higher to charge a 12 volt battery. So that what they use is the reactants of the transformer windings are used like an inductor in a DC boost converter to output the higher DC voltage that you need. So if we can go over here, you can see here in figure five and six, the secondary current is passing through, in this case, this is just half the cycle, so it's passing through two of the MOSFETs that are turned on, so you're getting a, essentially a short circuit through the inductor, you're getting a lot of current, and then in figure six, at a predetermined time, the MOSFETs are turned off, and now current flows through the body diodes in the MOSFETs. You can see here going through these other two MOSFETs through the battery, and now you have this collapsing magnetic field in the transformer producing 14 volts to charge the battery. And then all you need is a little bit of logic to control these MOSFETs and measure the voltage and current, and you essentially have a free battery charger because it's all the same MOSFETs, it's the same battery, it's the same transformer, it's all the same heavy wiring, and it's just a little bit of logic in the controller to switch from inverter mode to charger mode. So Dave Jones did a nice tutorial and teardown on a UPS based on this design on the EEV blog channel. I'll put a link to that video here if you want to get all the details. This will wrap up this look at the Triplite APS1012 inverter charger. I've been using this inverter nearly every day for the last year and a half with only one real issue. That is, there's no way to turn off the battery charger feature. You can set the charging current from 4 to 40 amps, but not to zero. Triplite's modified sine wave power verters support this feature, 
but the sine wave units don't for some reason. As noted earlier, I found I can add an inline switch, which I put a switch there, and the circuit breaker I moved out here. So if I have that switch, I can cut the charger power, and that works perfect, allowing the grid power to come in and then go out through the output. But for the inverter mode to work, that switch needs to be closed or the inverter senses a fault and shuts off. So I'm working on a few ideas to get around this issue. Stay tuned to the channel as I make progress on those. My goal is to make this device into essentially a solar powered UPS, letting solar power charge the batteries when possible. The built-in charger will then only serve as a backup if there's extended cloudy weather. I'm aware now of other units on the market that may have these sort of features, but I have this inverter and I want to see if I can make it work. Questions welcome in the comments section below. Be sure to rate and share this video if you found it interesting. Check out my other videos and subscribe to the channel for updates. And as always, thanks for watching.